with this year coming to an end, it's time for another New Year's resolution. And there will be a huge number of people who are considering learning the guitar but feel awkward, shy and lacking general confidence regarding their playing. With them in mind, in today's video, we'll give you 5 tips on how you can apply yourself to get instant results, making you more comfortable and confident with the guitar in the process. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Firstly, no matter how awkward it gets, you need to learn how to play with other people. Note how it's not you performing for other people, but playing along with other people, which, in other words, is known as a jamming session. If you want to improve your confidence and thrive as a musician, the importance of jamming with other musicians is beyond explanation. We understand the urge to play all by yourself at your own pace, but it's very hard to make progress when you can't compare your work with others. Jamming is also a very entertaining act that makes playing any instrument more entertaining and fun and promotes healthy communication, which in turn boosts your overall confidence while playing the guitar. Timing is an incredibly important factor when it comes to music, as you need to learn the perfect timing to produce that perfect sound. Not counting the people who have an innate rhythm and timing skill, but there are people who, in general, have difficulties catching the rhythm and thus get frustrated easily. But fret not, because a metronome is a magical solution to this issue. A metronome, in general, keeps a musician in line with the timing of the music and makes them find a balance between the rhythm and the playing. A preset tempo helps to achieve the rhythm, and there have been many occurrences where a metronome has helped to achieve a musician a sense of good rhythm which in turn had an incredibly positive impact on the level of confidence. It might be hard to believe, but the best judge of your music is none other than yourself. When you play the guitar, it's almost always a good idea to record and play it back. So before anyone else has anything demotivating to say about your playing, you'll be the first to know about it yourself and make adjustments accordingly. Listening to your work by yourself ensures that you as a guitarist notice things like an off-tone or an out-of-tune guitar strum you weren't aware of before. You'll also get to know if you have timing or rhythmic issues or if you're rushing through a section of the piece you're trying to play. By listening to yourself and being your own judge, you'll be able to identify where your problems are by yourself, fix them and be an overall more confident guitar player in the long run. Practicing your guitar should, in theory, be the top-rated tip to boost your guitar playing confidence. But it will have little to no results if you keep on playing the same chord or the same song in a loop. That's not progress. Sure, in order to perfect the song, tune or piece, you need to practice it. But if you keep on playing the same piece over and over again, progress could be a very hard thing to achieve. We, therefore, highly suggest learning something new. Maybe a new chord, a new piece, a new solo, a new song, whatever works. If nothing else, maybe learn a new riff or a scale shape or a chord progression. Diversity is key and being diverse will reward you with a vivid experience that will help you become a better guitarist in the long run, making you more confident about your guitar skills in the process. At the end of the day, a guitarist needs to be an overall good performer. Since only being good at the instrument and having a vivid knowledge regarding it won't make people enjoy your company nor appreciate your music. One of the best ways to learn the secrets of being a good guitar player that people will love everywhere is to watch live shows where people are playing the guitar. By doing that, you'll notice small things like how the guitarist on stage interacts with the crowd, how he talks, how and why he uses that particular playing style and have an overall idea on how to make your crowd cheer for you. Watching them deliver an incredibly electrifying solo can also make you feel inspired and push you to practice that and try it for yourself. Other than all that, you can pick up a ton of tips and tactics by just watching other people play. Just stand there, absorb that energy and use it for yourself in order to be a more confident and impactful guitarist. So that was a list of the top 5 ways you can boost your guitar playing performance. Are you a beginner or a seasoned guitarist? Do let us know if these tips helped you to be a better guitarist. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.